measuring voltage yeah? the voltage uh, to be measured is applied to the Y plates wire the Y input terminal the time base is switch off okay let's say you want to measure uh, direct current first okay? direct currents and uh, when uh, you plug in the input the Y inputs eh? okay let's say you get something like this you get a bright spot and the bright spot is here the bright spot is here and the time base is off okay the time base is off and uh, let's say the Y gain the Y gain is equal to uh, let's say uh, 5 volt initially it's at the center okay we assume that initially it's at the center so can you please tell me what's the voltage of this direct current what's the voltage of this direct current the Y gain 5 volt the time base switch off and the bright spot is here initially is here but now after you switch on after uh, you plug in this uh, direct current then it's here okay 15 volt that's correct okay that's correct because Y gain 5 volt means that each division uh, uh, this is 5 volt this is 10 volt this is 15 volt okay so you see how that, that's how we measure the voltage eh? we plug in the electric source eh, to the Y input and then we see okay initially it's here okay how far it deflect from the center uh, then we know how many volt is this eh? now if it's uh, alternating currents okay let's say it's alternating current let's erase this okay let's say it's alternating currents and uh, let's erase the Y gains and uh, let's say you get uh, something like this you get something like this and then the Y gain the Y gain is uh, let's say 0 0.5 volt what's the peak voltage of this uh, alternating currents okay one volt because the peak voltage is measured from the center the center so 0 0.5 this is 0 0 0.5 volt 1.0 volt eh? so the voltage is uh, 1.0 volt so that's how we measure voltage from uh, the display or from this uh, cathode ray oscilloscope eh? let's see this uh, example here okay? okay since this one there's no input so you don't need to have a Y gain eh? okay. even though you know the Y gain so there's uh, it won't affect anything okay if the time base is off eh? okay then you will see the spot is at the center okay because there's no input eh? the spot at the center if the spot is not at the center then you use the X offset or Y offsets to move it to the center okay this is time base off if the time base is on then you can see a straight line eh, from left to right or sometimes you can see the movement it moves slowly from left to right uh, it's like the uh, what you see okay the instrument they used to measure heartbeat okay in uh, hospitals okay it moves left to right right so that is uh, when the start time base is switch on okay then you can see it move from left to right if the time base the time interval is very small then you cannot see the movement eh? it moves too fast you can only see a straight line Okay, for the input at the Y plate, 0 0.5 volt per division and the gain 0 0.5 volt per division. Now that is uh, this one, okay? This one. Eh? So if the time base is off, the time base off, then the spot is here. Initially it's here, okay? So 0 0.5 volt per division to gain uh, 0 0.5 volt. Sorry, sorry. Let me see something wrong here. 1.5 volt, eh? okay? Not 1.5 volt, not 0 0.5 volt, okay? So I'm sorry. So it's not here. Okay, this one cancel, okay? It's here okay it's here okay let me erase this because the gain is a 0 0.5 here's 0 uh, 0 volt 0 0.5 1.0 1.5 volt okay time base off and the time base on okay again uh, i think this is wrong so let's erase it it's supposed to be a dashed line so when the time base is on uh, so the straight line is here time base on the straight line is here um, the input this is the input 1.5 volt not per divisions input 1.5 volt so 0 1.5 volt so it move uh, the gains 0 0.5 volt so it move uh, three divisions up uh, three division up and uh, when you switch on the time base then you move left to right then how about this one negative 2.0 volt uh, and the gain is 1.0 volt per divisions so if the cell is reversed uh, then the spot will go down it will go here because uh, this is zero volt okay and the uh, y gain is one so this is negative one volt 
and this is negative 2 uh, okay so negative 2 watts it will move two divisions down and when the time based on uh, then it's, uh, it will move the bright spot from left to right and then it form a straight line like this the input 50 hertz alternating currents uh, if the, the frequency is 50 hertz then the period uh, period is the time for one complete oscillation uh, so the period is equal to 1 divided by 50 is equal to 0.02 seconds so that is the period and then uh, here stated uh, the time base 5 milliseconds uh. millisecond means um, 0 0.005 second uh, milli divided by 1000 5 divided by 1000 0 0.005 seconds uh. okay so means that uh, each division 0 0.005 Let's say uh, they say this is zero, then this will be a uh, negative zero point zero zero five, negative zero point zero one zero, negative zero point zero one five, huh? and this is uh, zero point zero zero five, zero point zero one zero, zero point zero one five. That is the time base. Uh, y gain five volt. So this is five volt, ten volt, fifteen, twenty. Yeah? negative 5 negative 10 negative 15 and uh negative 20. now the peak voltage uh 20 volt and then it takes 0 0.02 seconds to make one complete oscillation eh? uh one complete oscillation is like this eh? one complete oscillation is uh, this is one complete oscillation so. Uh, one complete oscillation 0 0.02 seconds 0. Uh, here to here 0 0.005 eh? 0 0.005, 0 0.01, 0 0.015, 0 0.02. So 0 0.02 is from here to here. Four division. Eh? One division, 0 0.005. So for 0 0.02 seconds, we need to have four divisions. Four divisions. And the maximum voltage is 20. So when the time base off, a time base off, there's no movement from left to right. Okay, so you can see... Uh, the gain control okay so 5 volt 5 volt it should go to the maximum but let me check 5 volt 20 volt okay 5 volt 20 volts okay it should go to the maximum okay so this straight line should go to the maximum it's like this because the peak voltage is 20 volt so 5 10 15 20 volt okay there's no left right movement because the time base off so you will see a straight line like this okay a straight line like this when the time base on time base switched on eh? then you can see something like this okay but the peak voltage is 20 yeah? okay so uh, i think this is also again it is wrong let's erase this and let's redraw it again eh? so the peak voltage is uh, 20 okay and then it make one complete oscillations in uh, four divisions okay four divisions so it go up come down so this is one complete oscillations and another one is like this that's what you get eh? time base off just a straight line time base on it move from left to right okay so this is a display this one the gain is still the same the, the gain is still the same the peak voltage is still the same uh, the time base is still the same but this one is uh, it changed to 25 Hertz eh? 25 Hertz so if time base off then it should be the same eh? okay it should be the same Mm, maybe we ch this for this one let's change a little bit like, huh? okay so this one the gain let's change to 10 volt huh? change to 10 volt okay so for the the uh, y gain huh? change to 10 volt change to 10 volt so if change to 10 volt uh, then this is correct huh? okay then this is correct so this is 0 10 volt 20 volt negative 10 negative 20 so time base off you can see a straight line the maximum is 20 volt minimum negative 20 volt okay and uh, when the time base on, okay, time base on, then you have something like this again. Okay? Now, why why does it look like this? Because the frequency is twenty five hertz. Oh uh? uh, no, the yeah, the twenty frequency twenty five hertz stands the the period period is one divided by twenty five uh, zero point zero four seconds. So each division is zero point zero zero five, right? So if we take uh, zero point zero four seconds divided by zero point zero zero Five, then you will find that this is equal to eight divisions 
eight divisions. Eh? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight divisions. So it make one complete oscillations in eight divisions. Okay, eight divisions is equal to uh, 0 0.04 seconds. Eh? Eight divisions, 0 0.04 seconds. So that's what you get.